Prislin with a pull-up three-pointer, it's good. Dickert open from three-point land, good. Wood gets a screen from Went, nails a three. Lifon with a pull-up, G, nails it. Ricky bank shot, good. Wainer for three, got it. Intercepted and laid off the glass. Deep shot from the side is up and good. Risberg's two-point a shot is in. Splits for the fence and scores with two seconds to go. and welcome to the Kolf Sports Center on the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh campus where tonight we have a sectional semifinal game for you to feature Sheboygan North Golden Raiders and the Bulldogs of Cedarburg. I'm Stu Hoppensberger and with me as always the guru of high school sports here in Sheboygan, Mike Martin. And Marty, Sheboygan North has quite a test tonight. This is a team that beat them back in the holidays and it's a mixture of size but also a team that can score outside. It's a real interesting matchup, Stu, because North beat them at a, with a buzzer beater last year. Uh, Wainer hit about a 30-footer, and then they lost to him by eight in their own tournament. Cedarburg is dynamite. They're, they're for real. They're 17-5 and five on the year. Uh, Joe Patek and Chad Dodens were unanimous all North Shore Conference players. And I think part of the problem why North had problems with them is when they full court pressure, Dodens is a nifty kind of ball handler and he can beat the pressure. North is going to have to be able to control, control him. If anything, maybe North has an edge in terms of uh, their coaching staff has quite a bit of tournament experience. However, Cedarburg was here last year. Well, they were, and uh, Tom's used to this, Tom Desatel. Ben Siebert, this is his second year, uh, you know, in this type of a ball game. Having that experience is really going to help. I think them beating North is going to help them also this year. Uh, North has some revenge in mind, though. You can be sure of that. I would think the revenge factor is going both ways, even though Cedarburg won earlier in this court last year. North, as you just mentioned, revenge because they got beat earlier in the year. That's what makes it such an intriguing matchup, you know, because, uh, like you say, they were able to beat North, yet they lost to them in the big game, you know, last year, and that's what they're really pointing towards. They want to get to the finals, Cedarburg does. North, of course, is laden with seniors, and they got great senior leadership, and that can take you a long way. Raiders uh, are going to have to control the tempo in this game, I would think. Uh, we would expect what? Pressure and uh, hopefully an up-tempo game? This is where I'm a little concerned. I don't know, why, or I shouldn't say concerned. I'm a little miffed. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it. I really think if North tries to pressure them full court, they're going to be in trouble because I think Dodens can handle the pressure. However, if they maybe pick them up at three-quarter or half-court, they have a better chance of controlling Temple. They can still apply pressure, but they're not going to leave people open underneath the basket. And uh, Ben Siebert had mentioned in a paper, he said, having this big court is going to be kind of nice. It'll be able to give us more space to be able to beat the traps. Well, we'll see if that's how it carries through. All right. Fond du Lac awaits the winner. They were a 41-35 victor over Nina. We'll be back right after this to set the starting lineups, and we'll have the opening tip. Stay with us. Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. Dad likes big juicy steaks. T-bone four and a half. But steak houses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. My compliments to the chef. For someone younger. They won't notice you've gained weight. They won't fire you. They won't talk about you behind your back. All they'll ever do is love you. Find the love of your life. Visit PetBinder at ASPCA.org. 
can be a handful. Buy one, get one free. So when I decided to go back to school, I needed to find one that fit my, our lifestyle. Lakeland College was the perfect place. They offer an easy to manage schedule and counselors to help me anytime. Evening classes at Lakeland don't tie my, <laughs> our life in knots. Ever consider a double major? Gosh, gosh, the starting lineup's being introduced. We'll set them for you right now. First of all, for the Bulldogs from Cedarburg, the North Shore Conference champions, they come into this game with a 17 and five record. They'll start Mike Drifka, number 22, a 6'3 junior. Joe Potick, 24, a 6'6 senior. Chad Doden is a 6'2 senior, wears number 32. Derek Moore is a 6'3 senior, he wears 34. And David Lemon, a 6'7 junior, wears number 44. Cedarburg coached by Ben Sieber. For the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders, 18 and two coming into this ball game and Fox River Valley Conference champions. They will start Matt Hors in a 5'11 senior, he wears number 15. Chad Decker, number 21, is a six foot senior. Brad Wayner, player of the year in the Fox River Valley Conference, a 6'3 senior, he wears 31. Brandon Miller is wearing jersey 33, a 6'1 senior. And Adam Schmitz, a 6'2 senior, wears number 41. Coach Tom Desitel in his 26th season heads the Golden Raiders and trying to get them back to state for what would be, I believe, their sixth trip under Coach Desitel and actually all previous five trips were made under coach in the, in the school history. Yep, all of them, everyone that uh, North has made has been with him as head coach. Uh, ben Siebert is in his third year at Cedarburg and uh, his second trip to the sectionals, which is uh, quite a compliment to him. Our officials tonight making the toss at center court will be Joe Thyssen and his partner will be Mike Carr. And those two officials are from the Madison area. The Raiders had about a 31 point victory margin in Fox River Valley Conference play. The two teams score about the same. North 71 points per ball game, Cedarburg 67. The Raiders defense has been a little bit better. They yielded just over 40 points a game while Cedarburg's given up 52. And the Bulldogs control the opening tip. This is Dodens. Potick will take it into the lane. North opening up in a man-to-man -man defense. It'll be interesting to see if they go at them on a full court nature. Outside jumper, offensive rebound pulled down by Lemon. Inside, another shot short by Dodens. And again, Cedarburg on the boards. And rolling in, a rebound bucket is Lemon. That's the problem that North is gonna have with the uh, height that Cedarburg has. North is gonna have to do a very good job of blocking out. Decker tried to get the pass inside, was touched, but the Raiders keep it. Now he had one thrown right back to him. And Wayner travels, so. A little jittery, the Golden Raiders to get started, wearing the white jersey, Cedarburg in the dark black with orange trim. North opening up with the full court pressure. Golden's being guarded by Wayner, double team whores and had a hand on it, but Cedarburg gets it across. Moore on the drive, lays one in. That's too easy, went right around Chad Decker that time and get right down the middle of the lane for an easy shot. And Moore is shooting about 30% on the year, so he doesn't make many. <laughs> Shoots a lot, though. Just underway from Paul Sports Center, sectional semifinals, North trailing Cedarburg 4 0. Wainer in the lane, splits the defender, shot no good. Ball loose, Cedarburg controls. Oh, looked like he might have got hacked, but no call. More baseline, that was cut off. He'll take it to the middle of the floor. Little spin move, shot won't go, but another offensive rebound and put back by Drifka. Cedarburg very strong on the boards in the early going. And Decker tied up momentarily. And a foul called. North taking it right to the teeth of the uh, Cedarburg defense. Drifka was called for the personal foul. Schmitz will bring it in for the Raiders underneath their basket. Wainer into the middle, kicks it out, Horson for three, no good. 
Decker offensive board comes up short, tips, rebounds again, reverses block, Decker still has it. Double teamed inside, now gets like, it out to Wainer. Looked like he got away with the double dribble, but I think what happened is the ball got knocked out of his hands. Wainer drives, scored, and is fouled. <laughs> he got hit very hard, he's holding his lip. I'd like to see a replay of that. Split the defense again, got the ball up and in. Sarah Herman coming down to uh Buddy knows him. her lip. He'll have to come out, won't he? They'll have to have a substitute free throw shooter. Well, only if he got it on his jersey. Well, yeah, probably because he had to have a trainer come out. You're right. Well, it looks like a lip, not a nose. Either way, he got hacked pretty good. I don't know that that's a good sign. <laughs> Brandon Hahn into the ball game, and he'll get the free throw. So how you like that for coming off the bench cold? Here you're going to see a replay coming down the middle. And you see him got Lemon hit him right in the mouth. Dawn hits the free throw, and so North gets her first points at the 546 mark. Double team pressure. Cedarburg having trouble, but they'll get it across. This is Drifka in the corner. Potic. Potic's a three point shooter. Big kid. You don't expect the big kid to be your best three point shooter at 6'6. Six, six. <laughs> One referee called it out on Cedarburg. The other ref came over and told him what the proper call should be, so he pointed to Cedarburg and hit the Cedarburg player, Dodens, right in the mouth. And Cedarburg throws it away, unforced air. As I was watching him warm up, Stu, I noticed uh, Potic uh, shooting his three-pointers, you know, for a big guy. Decker penetrates, then dishes to Schmitz. He'll take it inside. Layup is good. Schmitz again taking it right to the heart of the defense. Ball knocked loose, and the Raiders have it. Pressure defense paying dividends that time. Horzen for three, and the Raiders with their first lead. Seven to six. Eight, Eight to six. six. Quick, oh, inside. Big man <laughs> gets free, and Horzen just about got crumpled. Well, Lemon, uh, pardon me, Brandon Miller doing a good job of uh, committing a foul, not hurting Lemon, but not allowing him to uh, make the easy basket either. First personal foul on Miller, first team foul against the Raiders. So Lemon will shoot free throws. Neither one of these teams, Marty, very good free throw shooters, and in tournament play, that's a big deal. Lemon shot 53% uh, from the line during the season. And he's about on average hitting one and two there. Eight, seven, North leads by a single point. Kyle Tetchlog in the ball game for North. Tetchlog 51. Are you surprised, Marty, that North's been taking it to the hoop early? Yes, I am. But uh, they've been able to split the defense and get the shots up. This is more. Oh, nice pass to Lemon. Good Last. defense by Tetchlog. Get his hand in there. Last Basketball. touch by Tetchlog. So Cedarburg will get the ball out of bounds. Moore finds an open Godens for an easy bucket. Shane Gruby, number 23, getting ready to check in for the Raiders. That looked like an errant pass, but it was to Decker. He's on the drive. He's blocked by Lemon. Jump ball called. That's the thing that uh, North was able to do in most Valley games. Uh, they're just not, uh, you know, they didn't run into this kind of height in the Valley. Possession arrow favored North, so they keep the basketball on their end of the floor. Ruby gets the first touch just into the game. Schmidt's free throw line. 
He'll drive. Little five footers, good. And the foul is going to go against Doden. Adam Schmidt's taking it right down the middle. Getting that fade away. It's about the only way he could get the shot up. Good sign, Brad Weiner back in. So Schmitz will get a free throw. I didn't get a check, a chance to check uh, Brad Weiner's nose. Like he's, he's got some in his nose. Schmitz can't convert the three-point play, but the Raiders still lead by one. Justin Melke in the game for Cedarburg with the ball. Gets it across the timeline to Drifka. Doden's double teamed. Drifka bounce pass to Melke. Long bomb. Hoddick, no good. Lemon with another offensive board and a foul on Decker. Uh, Chad Decker came right down over the arms of Lemon. That was an easy call. What makes it tough, well, it makes it tough because Cedarburg is very tall, Stu, but uh, when you're taking those three-point shots, you usually get a long rebound off of a miss. And Lemon was in a great position. Melky in the lane, kicks it out to the corner. Dodens goes back inside, and another easy basket for Drifka. Drifka with four. Cedarburg back in front. Dodens showing good passing ability. Wainer trying to get the offense set. Decker bounce pass in, jump shot, rolls off the rim. Miller couldn't get it to go down. Touch log gets set to come back for North. He just checked out, so he's not going to be out for very long. Melky out front. Melky looks a little shaky. Pass inside, he finds Drifka open again, and Drifka has six. 13-10, Cedarburg leads, 2.25 remaining first quarter of play. Wainer, little floater inside, no good. Lemon cleared the board for the Bulldogs. Lemon, only a junior, is proving to be a very valuable player so far. Oh, Melky got away with maybe a travel. Lemon just about did as well. Potick goes cross court to Dodens. Feels like both teams have settled down a little bit, Marty. Uh, I can see what Drifka's doing inside. He really gets good body position, and uh, being a couple inches taller than Chad Decker, you know, gives him a big advantage. Doden's jumper doesn't go. Decker clears the rebound for the Raiders. Doden's guarding Wainer. That's a good matchup for those two young men. 130 now remaining in the quarter. Decker, right baseline. Tried to kick it out and threw it away. Wainer saying it was touched, but uh, the referees don't see it that way, so Cedarburg ball. Horizon and Herman are coming in with uh, Kyle Tetzlog. That's one thing that should help the Raiders down the road, Stu, is uh, playing a lot of people. You know, keeping their guys rested a little bit. Drifka goes across to Kainitzer. His shot was blocked. Tetchlog De with the block, Stu. Decker comes away with it. Tetchlog open underneath and scores. Tetchlog outrunning the defense. He starts and finishes that play, his first points. Dalton's lost it. Decker knocked it away, tries to save. Bodies all over the place. It's sectional basketball. Well, North had the turnover. They just couldn't capture the ball. Chad Doden's checking out. Nice to see him off the floor. Moore throws it in for Cedarburg. Kanitzer throws it away. 
That was really fine defense by Kyle Tetschlag. As soon as that ball went to the side, Stu, he dropped down on the inside post player, gave his teammate help. Decker pours in for three. Missed it left. Tetschlag inside, overlays. Drifka with the rebound for Cedarburg. Well, Milky had guys open down the floor, but elected not to pass it down. He walked, got away with it, and scored. Under 10 seconds. Wainer pull up, 17-footer. He netted it. He has four points. Milky likes to dribble, doesn't he, Marty? Didn't get the shot off in time, and that's the quarter. Cedarburg leads Sheboygan North after one, 15-14. inflating my tires burns less fuel and saves me money on gas yeah I'm saving mother nature from pollution but more importantly she saved me 11 bucks oh! environmental defense get green by keeping my car regularly tuned I save money on gas and repairs that also means cleaner air you know feels good to help save the cash planet environmental defense get green for more tips go to getgreen.com Kids aren't afraid of other kids, or people with different color skin. That's because kids know there are other things, worse things, bigger things to be afraid of. Like monsters from outer space! Remember, friends come in all colors. And welcome back to Kauf Sports Center. Second quarter just underway. Stu Hoffensberger along with Mike Martin and Sheboygan North trailing by one. Cedarburg gets the first possession of the second quarter. Pours in with a steal and a nice pass to save it. Then Wainer foul. Derek Moore on, on the call. Oh, Ron Nitus making a nice catch in the first roll. And then gave Matt a little assist getting them back out on the court. It's only the fourth team foul, so still no shooting. Who was that foul on Stu? It was Mr. Derek Moore called for that foul. A good North. help defense by Potic. Oh, beautiful pass on the cut. Schmitz gets the score, but Decker the assist. Well, we were talking about it before the game. Wainer and Decker led the Valley in assists. Wainer was number one. Canitz are just about to throw another one away. Dodens had to really reach back to get that one. Lemon, easy two. Well, you got to count for him. Derek five. Moore making a nice feed. Five points for Lemon. Miller will come back in for the Raiders. Horson for three. He got that one. Well, defense was a foot off of him, and that's all it takes for Matt to get open. Led the Fox River Valley Conference in three-point shots made this year. He shot about 36%. Lemon, if I had the ball knocked away by Decker, and then he's fouled on the block. Probably call will go against Tetchlog. No, it'll be against Schmitz. For Schmitz, that's his first foul. Well, we mentioned Lemon, not a real good free throw shooter, and he only made one out of two his first trip. Definitely better off following this guy instead of letting him put the easy two in. Might have to send that guy to uh, Mike Martin School of Free Throw Shooting. Definitely don't send him to see Shaq. Trouble is, he'd have to shoot him left-handed. <laughs> Marty, he'd, he'd do a lot better. Very flat. Donut for two miss. Miller kept it alive by hitting it off the board and then got the rebound. Quickly ahead to Decker. Brandon Dawn in the Schmitz. game. Schmitz. Oh. The Raiders lead by four. Schmitt with eight points already. And another turnover. And here comes Norris. Schmitz leading the way. 
Wainer take a look at the hoop as well. Now he'll penetrate, ball knocked away, North keeps it. Well, I don't think Adam had his uh, feet set the way he wanted to get that shot off, but that would have been the thing to do because he had a smaller defender on him. 21-17, Raiders lead. Wainer will bring it in. Oh, the pass knocked away. Cedarberg had a breakout. Dodens didn't see it. And he's fouled as the layup misses. Brandon Miller will get tagged with that foul. Second foul on Miller. So Dodens goes to the line. And he'll get two shots. Sort of hits the low line driver. He'll get one more. Say, it's the second guy on their team. We've shooting that pancake free throw. It's like a la Bobby Dander well, to the they're Bucks. looking at the stance before the game and I'm going, gee, Cedarburg doesn't shoot very well from the line, 61%. Then we looked at Norris total. <laughs> 58%? 59. Well, rounded to 60, but yeah. neither team, uh, that's not a strong point for either one. Doden's trying to hit the second, but doesn't. Rolls off the rim, so one for two trip. And North with a three-point lead in the basketball. The Woodens was a 63% free throw shooter. Dawn right side. Wainer. Double teamed. Decker will try to penetrate. Tempted to get the ball to Bogenschutz. It was knocked away by Lemon. Again, uh, Chad Decker making great penetration and uh, looking for his teammate, but uh, long arms of Cedarburg able to knock that ball out of bounds. Decker in the lane. And a foul called. It's going to go against Aaron Albrecht, his first personal. Schmitz will bring it in. Only the fifth team foul. Wainer for three, and he netted it. Well, he got his feet square, and that's all it took. Wainer has five, and the North lead is the biggest of the night at 24-18. Boy, Cedarberg had numbers, but uh, Aaron Albrecht not pressing uh, to get the ball down deep. Albrecht all alone inside and scores. North quickly ahead, they're forcing the pace here. Wainer way outside, short. Decker battling, Bogan shuts, Decker. Now Wainer inside. Crowd wanted a charge. Schmitz loses control of the ball. It's knocked ahead and Horzen will gather it in for North. Well, <laughs> not pretty basketball, but North still has it. Well, Doden's trying to push him about three times. The third time he got called for the foul. And that's his second. Yep. Six team foul, so the Raiders will go to the line uh, from this point on in the half. And we're at 444, so there's a lot of time left in the first half. See, so, uh, Jimmy Horson up there. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely here. But Rick is too. Rick's right next to him. Decker sealed off his man, couldn't convert. Bogan shuts. Had the rebound and couldn't get it to go. Uh, great opportunities for the Raiders, but not able to convert. Albrecht all alone and scores 15 feet in. Four points off the bench for Cedarburg. That's a big bonus. 24-22 Raiders. Albrecht only averages 2.7 per game. For the fans that have watched both games, Marty, this has been uh, unbelievably paced compared to the first ball game. That score was 16-12 at halftime, and both teams here have uh, surpassed, almost surpassed the combined total. Right. Of course, you're talking about that Nina Fond du Lac game. Wainer passed to Bogan Schutz, and a call a blocking foul on Lemon. He had the ball up top, but he had a lot of body underneath. Foul is on number 34, Devin Lemon, his first. 
for his personal on Lemon, and so a bonus coming for Brandon Bogenschutz. In fact, they call it a two-shot foul, Marty, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And an 0 for 2 trip. Wainer gets the long rebound. Horzen for three. Off the rim, no good. Vogan shoots battling to keep it alive. Decker comes out of the crowd. He is relentless, Chad Decker. First team all conference in the Valley. Leading scorer in the league. Wainer on the drive, rolls off, no good. Lemon pulls it away for Cedarburg. Horzen with a steal, bank shot, won't go. Lemon again with the rebound, Vogan shoots. Knocked it away, but called for the foul. Well, that's a, a couple of real good opportunities to score points for North, and they're not coming away with any. North up by only two. Tetchlog back into the ball game for the Raiders. And Milky breaks the press easily. Oh, Decker with a block, but he's called for a foul. Drifka indicated, hey, he got me on the hand. That's not the right place to show because the hand's part of the ball, Marty. Well, I'm thinking, I think it was Kyle Tetschlock cut in front to go for the steal and uh, just missed it. Allowed Drifka to uh, get the pass and get fouled. Chad Decker, right? Picked up that foul? Yep, his second. Well, Bogey just checked out. All of a sudden, he's right back in the game. Drifka with seven points, trying to make it eight right here and tie the game. It's in and out, a one for two trip, north by one. 3.05 left, first half of play. Bodek stepping out to uh, prevent Matt Horizon from getting the ball. Both teams have enjoyed six point leads, but that as long as any lead has been. Wainer's gonna be called for a foul off the ball. And it'll be a bonus free throw coming for Cedarburg. Melky will go to the free throw line for Cedarburg. Milky has a basket back in the first quarter. That attempt is hard and no good. Schmitz clears the rebound. Wainer trying to direct traffic out front. Now he'll take it to the lane, 15 footer on the way, hard off the rim, no good. Lemon, another rebound for Cedarburg. Moore into the lane and a blocking foul called on Horzen. Okay, Derek Moore, we had mentioned on, at the top that he had uh, taken a lot of shots, didn't have a real good percentage on his shooting, but uh, he can be an offensive force. Big guy, handles the ball quite well. He hits his first free throw. He's one of their better free throw shooters, Marty. How, figure that one out. 67%. You know what that might be, Stu, is uh, just taking bad shots during the course of the game. Well, he just tied the score at 24 and now has a chance to put the Bulldogs of Cedarburg back in front. And does. 25-24. North trails by one. They have the ball. Drifka playing uh, Brandon Dawn very tight. Shane Gruby, number 23 in the ball game for the Raiders. Dawn kicks it out to Wainer. Wainer coupled between the leg dribbles. And he'll get it back from Gruby. Penetrates to the lane and then kicks it back out. North being very patient on this possession. Schmitz for three. Short. That uh, was an easy call. 
Brandon Don pushed underneath Drifka to try and get the board and uh, very easy call for the official. So bonus attempt coming up for Mike Drifka. Sort of like being in the middle here, hear what the coaches have to say. Yeah. Or we yell. We could really <laughs> or scream. Dick Dieter during that first game. And another missed free throw. Lemon knocks it out of bounds. North fans wanted a foul called on Lemon. Well, it certainly looked like it. Not the North player, Brandon Bogan shits down. Dawn on the dribble. Dribbled it off the defender's foot. It was a good call. And again, it looked like uh, Dawn got open. bumped. It was going to go the other way in a coach for Cedarburg. He wasn't going to argue with the official on that. Oh, he shook his head after the call. Yeah, okay, you got it. <laughs> he wouldn't have argued if they'd have called it the other way, though. Nope. You would have. Yes, I would have said something, Marty. Wainer fouled and his shot came up a little short. Well, he got more up in the air and he did the uh, little underneath, underneath scoop move and uh, that's why his shot never got up there, Stu. He had uh, Moore falling on him. Second personal on Moore. Wainer ties the game at 25. Why does it seem like all free throw attempts are very flat? Must be the hot air in here, Marty. It's very warm in the Colf Sports Center tonight. Two for two trip for Wainer and North back in front by one. 126 to play in the half. Comes oh. Dan Morgan with the ball. Melky will let the three go and hit it. Milky has five points in the game, Stu, and uh, he averages about two and a half. On the drive, foul called. Wainer was fouled. Lemon. And that's his third, isn't it, Marty? Nope, second. Well, I was just thinking, he was the one guy that I haven't noticed out of the Cedarburg lineup yet. And uh, he's done the little things, rebounding especially, has uh, been huge for him today. Wainer misses the first shot there. Raiders are three for six here in the half so far. Is that right? Nope. I've got six. That'll be the seventh attempt right there. He made nine attempts. Because Bogan shoots at two that he missed. Got him. Wainer two for four. Schmitz 0 for one. Don hit one. In the lane. Hoddick. No good. Fight for the loose ball. And the Raiders will get it. Well, big scramble underneath and uh, North came away with a little bit of a break because Potick looked like he had a pretty nice look at a short shot but couldn't get it in. Schmitz pull up, 15 footer. No good. Tight roll job by Cedarberg. They keep possession under 30 seconds to play. Potick finds an open man, overlaid, and over the back. So Morgan couldn't convert the layup and Albrecht called for the foul. You know, we had mentioned about uh, North missing some golden opportunities. Cedarberg is doing the same thing. Greg Manns is gonna be going to the line, Stu, to shoot a couple. Greg Manns at the line, shooting two. Two shots for Manns, a chance to tie it. There you saw the scoreboard, 24 seconds left in the half. And Manns misses on his first. Raiders have missed a bunch. Six of their last eight. They didn't look good on the release either. They get seven of their last nine, and Cedarburg will get it back. 
Tetschlag with some nice hustle, but he could not keep himself from going out of bounds. He's a... Well, Don wanted to get in, but uh, just a little late getting to the table. Potic, now Mel Melky with the ball, 15 seconds to go. He'll dribble it down. Potic faked the three, tried the baseline pass. Touched by Cedarberg, and so North will get it with 4.3 seconds. Last year was with about 4.4 seconds, I believe, when Wayner got it right in this area and dribbled it down and shot it in from about 30. Three seconds, Wayner on the dribble. Leaning, 20-footer, and oh! hey! Wayner and Cedarberg brings out the best in Brad Wayner. It goes for three, and Sheboygan North takes a one-point lead at halftime, 29-28. There you see a little bit of celebration on the North crowd. I wonder if Kerry can cue that up for us before we go to halftime and we get a chance to take a look at it one more time, Marty. Here he is. You know, that was a very difficult shot because he had a defender going right underneath him, you know, and it's hard to keep your concentration on the uh, basket, but he did just that. Kerry, great job on the replay. And again, the score at halftime, Sheboygan North, 29, Cedarburg, 28. I battle injustice. I eradicate landmines. I feed the hungry. I shape international policy. I protect children. I fight for human rights. I find homes for refugees. I dig wells. I develop economies. I teach people to read. I influence the president. I heal the sick. I comfort the grieving. I make the world better. I make a difference. I change the world, so can you. I'm Bob McGrath. And I'm Big Bird. And we love to make music. Music can help kids learn. Did you know that making music, any music... Like Twinkle Twinkle? Uh, right, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star can help your child with language, reading, and even math. And it's lots of fun, too. To find out how children learn and grow with music, visit www.amc-music.org. And you'll see... Music works wonders. Yeah, it sure does. Athletic competition is all about potential. The opportunity to look inside yourself, to challenge yourself, to be better than you ever dreamed imaginable. Junior achievement is also about dreams and the potential to make those dreams come true. Jay's free enterprise education programs help kids say, I can, and everything around them says, you can. Junior achievement, let their potential be your inspiration. Not that I have much time with these little guys and my job, but when my wife went back to school, I thought, why can't I? Certain things in life demand my attention, but a new career in computer science deserves my attention. 
An evening class at Lakeland doesn't tie my life in knots, thanks to a flexible, easy-to-manage schedule that allows me to balance work, school, and the twins. Evening classes that meet once a week, that's the easy part. Just a pretty darn exciting first half, and a pretty evenly played first half. Sheboygan North on the strength of a Brad Wainer three-pointer that just beat the buzzer. Leads Cedarburg 29-28, and Marty, uh, you're telling me that uh, you're not feeling real good about things right now. North is struggling to get good shots, Stu, and uh, Cedarburg has uh, been passing the ball quite well, and uh, they've pretty much handled the pressure, and uh, they seem to be getting shots easier than North is. North is having to uh, really fight hard and work the ball around, and it seems like they're not working together quite as much. It's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Brad Wainer trying to break down the defense, and... Uh, He's having a hard time. You know, you get by Dodens, who's an inch taller, and all of a sudden you got a couple of guys that are three and four inches taller to contend with, and it's uh, it's been a struggle in the first half. There and you I guess see a line of North fans right there, Marty. I guess uh, the shooting percentage kind of bear that out. North has not shot well in the first half. Well, 40 percent, 52 percent shooting for Cedarburg. Although the Raiders hit uh, five of 12 three-point shots for a 44 percent clip, which is pretty darn good from the arc. Leading scorer was Brad Wainer with 12, the only player in double figures, and North is going to get the ball to start the second half. The Raiders going with the same starting lineup that started the game. Miller, Horzen with the ball. That's Decker, Schmitz, and Wainer. Decker leaves for Miller. Miller works his way inside but can't score off Lemon. Cedarberg gives them one shot. It looked like he got pretty good inside position, but uh, got himself situated a little too far underneath the basket. Inside, short is Dodens and the Raiders rebound. Decker had six boards in the first half, and he got the rebound there. Potic coming out hard to uh, pressure Schmitz. Wainer feeling it from three, but doesn't get it, and another one and done for the Raiders. Right in front of us. Wainer just about landed in your lap, Guru. <laughs> He was saying hi to the Fond du Lac radio crew. And Decker called for a foul over the over the top and the, a third foul on Chad. Chad Decker, his third. Marty, your heart's beating a little faster. <laughs> Just table back away from me. Can't breathe. Out front, Drifka. Drifka led Cedarburg with seven in the first half. Moore on the drive, floater comes up short. Griff covered the rebound inside, and they're gonna call a jump ball. Cedarburg keeps it on their end of the floor. Brad Wainer had the uh, well-timed block causing the jump ball. Moore leaves for Dodens. Moore, pull up, 12-footer. Well, now you know why he shoots only 30%. Decker will take it to the hoop. Shot blocked, but a foul call. Drifka. Yeah, Decker went down very hard. He's taking a couple of hard falls in this one. But as has happened all year, he keeps coming back for more. And the poor free throw shooting for both clubs continues. North shot just, what was it, Marty, 30%? Uh, three, three for, for 10. 10, yeah. It's now three for 11 on the ball game. And make it three for 12 and Searberg with the board. Potic for three, in and out. He's their best three point shooter, Miller. Comes away with the rebound, and then loses it, but gets it back. Showing good strength against uh, Lemon, who's a very big man. Decker kid. kicks it out, Horzen for three, notched it. Third three-pointer for Matt Horzen, he's got nine on the night. And the Raider lead is four. Albrecht finally received the pass across the half court line. Lemon tried to dump it in, but it was knocked away. Albrecht gets it back on the drive. He'll get it to Potek. He's her three point guy. Missed another one. Decker inside gets the rebound. Well, North playing very good defense that time. Good rebounding that time also on the miss by Potek. 
Paddock, a 16 point per game score. He's yet to score in this one, Marty. That is unbelievable. Corzen feeling it for three. That one's short. Schmitz with an offensive board. Decker thought about it and then thought better of it. Wainer in the lane. He's got him all on the side. Had it knocked away. Wainer with the penetration again. Sort of forced that one, didn't he? He forced it and he was trying to shoot over taller guys, which made it a very, very difficult shot. Dodens tried the bounce pass, but Decker stole it. Well, it started with Wainer. He tipped the ball away. Miller was open and scored. That's the Patton and North Eye fast break. They beat you down the court. We saw it with uh, Tetchlog in the first half. And now we see it with Wainer right here. Cedarberg is going to take a short time out to talk things over. Good to see Matt Horzen hitting the shots outside. I should say Wainer to Miller for the layup. Not out of the woods yet, however. A lot of basketball to play. 4.54 remaining in the third quarter. But it's nice to have a lead. Something you can hang your hat on. And uh, the thing that makes me feel a little better so far this half, uh, Stu, is uh, Norse defense seems to be uh, picking up a little bit. Not that they played bad in the first half, but uh, they just seem to be doing a little better this half so far. Cedarberg has gone the first 3.06 of this quarter without a score. And they didn't score in the final minute of the first half. So they've had a pretty long scoring drought. Uh, Milky's back in the game. Justin Milky, he had uh, five points in the first half. I'm gonna call Schmitz on that one. He, Schmitz and Potick were uh, having a little scrum. We had a little March Madness today in the fifth grade over at Jefferson. That's kind of what we saw a lot of that. <laughs> Grabbing people. <laughs> Kids had a good time though. Dodes is out front, takes it to the free throw. Decker just about had a steal. North picking up the intensity. Melky, a lot of dribble. And walk. And if he didn't walk, he had thrown it away. Yeah, Decker had it. He had him scoped on that play. You know, one of the things we might be seeing, Stu, and I mentioned this right from the beginning, is that uh, North does a lot of substituting, and uh, over the course of a game, you start to wear the other team down, and we may be seeing a little bit of that at the beginning of the second half. Tell you what, Cedarberg has done a good job on Decker tonight of the nine in the ball. This is Dawn. Right side, gave up the dribble. Schmitz Look at how far out. Yeah, they're really forcing North out. Schmitz on the drive. Ooh, I thought he missed that one. No, good call by the official. Brad Wainer definitely tipped it last. I'd like to see a replay on that. <laughs> Never trust me. I, I told know. you the other guy's name yeah, was Kanitzer. You, Kanitzer. you, you wouldn't believe me on that you, either. You protect the referees all the time. <laughs> Fraternity. Dawn with the takeaway, ahead to Decker, and that's a block. Uh, good call. <laughs> you can see Milky with his hands down in front of his groin, sliding his feet, trying to pretend he was doing a legal block. I thought you were saying he was trying to protect. But, well, uh, that too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a smart move on his part. <laughs> By the way, the drought continuing. Uh, Cedarberg has now gone four minutes and 26 seconds without a score. Well, the thing is, North needs to get some free throws in. Uh, they're 0 for 3 so far in the second half. And they've missed their last seven attempts in a row. Make it eight. Rebound, Wainer is knocked away. And it'll go to Cedarburg off Schmitz. Boy, oh boy. You know, championship teams just can't be shooting that way and expect to advance and win big games. Six point Raider lead, it's their largest of the night. Good maneuver here to get Milky handling the ball. He's not as steady as Dodens. Dodens with a spin move, he's still in the corner and I'll bring it out front. Don doing a nice job on defense. Cedarberg a little bit out of sorts on their offensive set this uh, trip. Raider defenders inside have been very mobile and a blocking foul called on Paddock. 
You got a good piece of wiener, that's for sure. <laughs> Second foul on Potic. That's the one I was missing from the first half. <laughs> you do the same way. <laughs> TV8 will be here tomorrow night if the Raiders advance. The winner of this game will play Fond du Lac, a 41-35 overtime victory over Nina. Stu, you're supposed to say TV8 will be here on Saturday night when the Raiders <laughs> advance. That'll be Chris Wright and myself. Wainer parting to the yes. series and he gets the layup. Right over Lemon. 14 for Wainer. Spin move. Bucket counts and Cedarburg has scored their first points of the second half. I think that's going to be on Adam Schmitz. Yes, it is. Well, you knew they were going to score some points. North wasn't going to pitch a shutout at them. But uh, rather have it be a, just a two-pointer instead of a three-point play, possibly. And another missed free throw. And they're going to call Lemon for a foul. And again, that was another easy one, Stu. Went right over the back of Brandon Miller. We've seen 10 straight free throw misses when you take both teams into account. North with a six point lead at 36 30. They've led by as many as eight. Down to 205 remaining in the quarter. Tell you what, Drifka's wearing. <laughs> Decker like a glove. Miller inside. He waited too long. Blocked. That actually looked like the shot that Chad Decker should have taken. Because the defenders on him weren't that tall. Milky guarded by Horzen. Oh, Doden's got right around Wiener for the easy layup. Two straight hoops for Doden. He has seven. Everybody wants to report to us, Marty. Decker, bank shot, good. Decker's yeah, Decker. first points. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing, and boy, he had some nice free throw attempts and couldn't get any of those four to go. It's nice to see him on the board. So of the two leading scorers, what do they have points four. between them? Potic with zip. A strong rebound by Wiener. Pours it open, drive, miss. Decker followed no good, another follow, and this time he yes. scores. Way to stay with it, Decker. Full court pressure by the Raiders. We're under 50 seconds. Drifka. Marty, Cedarburg has just not got the ball inside at all this quarter. Not this quarter, and uh, well, it's gonna be a foul on Schmitz, I think, and that'll be his fourth. Uh, he saw, got sort of the bad end on that one. I was just going to comment on the fact that at times they seem to be able to break the press and get their half court set going, but they don't get it broken where they're uh, creating three on twos, two on ones, and you know getting the ball inside. Dodens will bring it in for Cedarburg. Uh, Drifka really battling Chad Decker inside. 22 is Drifka. Albrecht gets it on the inbound. Now Moore, that's a guy you want to shoot. Under 30 seconds to go. <laughs> <laughs> From about 16 would be nice. He drew nothing but air his last shot. It's Moore again. On the drive, missed another one. Albrecht inside and they're gonna call Decker and that's his fourth. Oh boy. So Adam Schmitz and Chad Decker, two of the starters, both have four falls and Brandon Miller getting ready to check in. They're gonna let him in. Oh, that's huge. That's a, that's a nice call for Sheboygan North. Bob pass to Moore. 10 seconds to go, Albrecht, easy two. A uh, breakdown on the defensive end. Four seconds, Wainer take the three, in and out, and there's the horn. 
So we played three quarters. Sheboygan North with great defense in the third quarter moves to a 40. 34 lead over Cedarburg. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. You know, we sing for millions of girls, but helping out in schools, that's the real deal, baby. I know our love can multiply. I'm the cute one, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been backstage before? Cause you're the exit. I think you'll find that gravity is key in what I do. Once was one, but now we're two. I'm sitting at a <laughs> <laughs> three-point shot. Oh, yeah, he missed it, though. Okay. Right. And we're back at Golf Sports Center. Mike Martin and I trying to figure out how poor the free throw shooting's been. Three for 14 for North. They were 0 for 4 in the quarter, and uh, Cedarburg, 5 out of 13. They had one attempt. Uh, Chad Doden's missing that. In case you're trying to figure that percentage, that's less than 21% from the free throw line for the Raiders. That's not that's, good. That's bad could have this game in hand right now if they're even shooting 50%. Well, Sheboygan North will get the first possession. Tetch log, Wiener, Miller, oh. and a steal. Albrecht takes it away. Doden's off his foot, got it back. Well, not a good pass in by uh, Kyle Tetch log that time. Drifka inside, leaves for Albrecht. He tries to tiptoe the baseline, Potic. In the lane forever, Albrecht scores. And Tom Desatel doesn't like that first 24 seconds and he's gonna take a short time out here. That was uh, a tough exchange there to start. A bad 24 seconds. They had uh, a six point lead and the ball and a uh, great opportunity to build on the six point lead and uh, threw the ball right away. And uh, just like we're upset, <laughs> so is Butch Desatel. I'll tell you what, Marty, uh, North with five team fouls, Cedarburg with uh, four. If I'm Cedarburg, I want to commit a, a bunch of fouls right away and get them in the bonus. And if I'm the Raiders, I want to do the same thing. Well, the problem is they got two kids with four falls, Chad Decker and uh, Adam Schmitz. That's not a good thing. Tetchlog brings it in. And so Wainer will set the offense. North 40, Cedarburg 36. They're running at him. Drifka trying to double team. Dawn open. Miller inside. Back out to Wainer. Not a lot of offense on the floor right now for the Raiders. 10-footer Don changed his shot over the big guy, and Cedarberg will bring it the other way. Moore on the drive, dribbles it off his foot. Drifka saves it. Good help defense. And Albrecht had it knocked away. That was Manns with the defensive play. Not a lot of offensive firepower on the floor for the Raiders right now. Don closely guarded by Drifka. 6.50 to play in this one. Wainer drives, layup no good, but a foul called. Aaron Albrecht, his third. Oh, man. Albrecht, the only Cedarburg player with more than two fouls. So they're in relatively good shape when it comes to the foul total right now. Wainer trying to snap, but is a bad string and he can't. Wow. Not even close. Matt That's his fifth straight miss, Marty. Matt Horizon checking in. And North takes another short 30 second timeout, so we're going to keep it right here. Man, oh man, what do you do to get out of that uh, rut here for free throws? Well, I'm thinking when, uh, when Kyle Tetchlock threw it in and right in front of us. And I just had this feeling, you know, he's thinking, geez, I threw the last one away. I just got yelled by coach. Here I am in the same situation. That guy's jumping around. I got to get it past him. And uh, he did. But, you know, you get that mental game going, and that, that's not a good thing. And uh, that mental thing is happening on the free throw line right now for all the Golden Raiders. I think Tom Dessitel feeling he needed some firepower. So Matt Horson will come back in the game with four personal fouls at the 644 mark. 40 to 36. Oh, Horson's only got one? Yeah. 
All right, check that. I was thinking about Decker. Yeah, it's a leap. And there Rainer rolls that one in. Maybe that'll get him off the schneid. 41-36, Raiders. Nice to break the ice in the fourth quarter. Uh, good health defense by Brandon Dawn. Ball knocked away in a late whistle. Foul on Miller. Uh, Miller had to go through uh, Potic to get at it, and probably a good call. Don't call what you can't see. Can't see the guy if uh, players in between you. Call only what you can see, Marty. All right. <laughs> that Hopefully that's what you do when you're ref. When that right? player is falling away because he got pushed from behind. He was moving to the ball as they teach all good players to do. I don't think so. I think that was a very good call, actually. You never saw it. You couldn't see Locked. that, Marty. You had a guy blocking your view. No. You, you were out of my way that time. At Doden's with a bucket. You were out of my way that time for once. I screened you out. I'm telling you right now. 41-38, Raider lead cut to three. Yeah, they're in a 1-2-2 two, two zone right now. They need to take the ball to the uh, left side and then swing it back. Horzen, that's I take a zone that buster. I take that back. Horzen with 12, all on three pointers. Raiders by six. Less than six minutes to play. Much shorter Brandon Dawn on uh, Potic out there outside the three point line. Dodens working his way inside, runs into touch lock. Potic, first points of the night. Well, we don't want to get him hot. Wainer, drive, and in there. scores! And a foul on Dripka, his third. Now that's one worth seeing again. That's one thing that uh, Brad Wainer does better than anybody we've seen in a long, long time, and that is just take it right to the basket. 17 for Wainer. Here you see him. Watch this quick step. Splits the defender and got the roll. And he's hit two straight free throws. 47-40. Five twenty-five to play. Moore brings it into the front court. Pushes off, no call. Brad Wainer with 18 points, leads all scores. Albrecht has it knocked away. Tetchlog with a hand on the ball. Cedarberg keeps it on their end of the floor. 5-14 to play. They were able to get it by Tetchlog, but he got the long arm in there and was able to knock it away. Good defense by KT. Dodens for three. No good. Tetchlog with the screen off and rebound. Wainer serving. Morrison feeling it right corner. Yes. Another one. Oh, 15 points. All on threes. Dawn gets a hand on the ball. Albrecht controls. Moore in the lane. Kicks it out. Potek, that's his spot. In and out, no good. Albrecht, reprints. Scores and foul. Oh. Offensive board, Albrecht, and he scores. Well, they've done that most of the game, getting offensive boards. That one hurt. And that makes it uh, three players on North. There you see Glenn Hilpert-Sauser and EDK. Three starters with four All falls right. to. Timeout on the floor, four, 44 to play. North leads by eight. Doesn't matter who you are or what you drive, or where you live. You have the power to give someone the greatest gift in the world, life. Make the decision to be an organ donor. Make the decision to donate life. We're back at Golf Sports Center in Oshkosh where Sheboygan North leads Cedarburg 50-42 and you see some excited Raider fans right now because they're just uh, what 284 seconds away from advancing to the sectional final. Only, only 284. If you're ahead, it seems like that clock Forever. never winds down. And uh, you're behind, it's going behind, way too it's like Just flying by. Well, Aaron Albrecht has uh, 10 points off the bench, and Justin Milkey 
as five points. That's 15 points off the bench for Cedarburg. That's pretty good production from their uh, non-starters. And he misses the free throw oh. at the rebound to Drifka. And he scores and is fouled. Well, Drifka's been a thorn in the side of the Raiders, especially in the first half. That was his first second half points. That's why you got to seal a guy off and get him on your back. Then it doesn't matter where the ball goes. Drifka's first points of the second half. He's got nine on the ball game and a chance for Cedarburg to get within five right here. And they do 50 45. Well, just moments ago, it was a 10 point North lead. Now it's cut in half at five. North has all their starters on the floor, Stu. Decker fouled by Drifka. And three of them have four falls. Well, that's a fourth on Drifka. And uh, bonus is now in for both teams. Well, it's time for Chad Decker to start putting them through the net. Aaron Albrecht comes right back in for uh, Drifka, who picked up, like Stu said, his fourth foul. Chad Decker, 427 to play. That is a <laughs> shot that will take it, Chad. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty. It was a brick, but it went in. Boy, just about died on the bracket and then just dropped down. Lucky the bracket was made of metal. How about a swisher on this one, Chad? Come on, what do you say? In and out. One for two trip. Tonight, that's been good. Yeah, that's been excellent. Dodens pull up 10 footer short. Lemon got away with a push, but Miller still came up with the rebound. Well, Potic almost commits a foul going over the top of Miller. North by six as we approach the midway point of the fourth quarter. Decker guarded by Albrecht, left side. He'll take it baseline. Bounce pass across Miller. Layoff. Good shot, good pass by, by Chad Decker to get it to uh, Brandon Miller. And that time he finished. Miller has four tonight. 53-45, North leads, full court pressure, and Cedarburg has the ball. Well, sometimes we talk about teams having something left for Saturday night. I hope Coach Desatel has something left. Sounds like he's losing his voice. Potic goes inside, Moore dropped down to Lemon. Missed the dunk. Albrecht with the offensive rebound. Well, North caught a little bit of a break, but couldn't, ca couldn't capitalize on it. And Aaron Albrecht has been uh, a real force off the bench. Wainer has to bring it back out to Horzen. 3.19 to play. Wainer again inside. Wainer and Horzen playing a little catch on the right side of the court. Uh, Brad Wainer can get it inside the uh, Cedarburg defense anytime he wants. Bounce pass to Miller, couldn't hit the layup. Almost knocked it away, but here comes Cedarburg. They've got numbers, two on one. Albrecht layup and scores. That almost could have been a three-point play. I thought Schmitz had uh, Albrecht's hand as he released the ball. Albrecht, 14 points. We're at the 245 mark of the ball game. Wainer, bounce pass Miller, he's fouled. Potic. His third. Well, Brandon Miller is going to have a chance to uh, get a couple of points. Rolls it in, soft touch on the first one. Yeah, this is his first trip to the line, so he hasn't been uh, Part of the uh, travesty of free throws throughout the course of the game. All right, and he notches them both. That looks Big sweet. free throws. Six point Raider lead, six points for Miller. 2.30 to play. Moore right side. Moore isn't working hard on Moore. Dodens will take it into the middle. Tried to leave it for Albrecht. And a steal by Wainer. 2.13 to go, Decker was open underneath, but it was a risky pass. 
Wainer spin move, bounce pass, Miller hangs oh. and hit the layup. Lemon with the rebound. Don't fall, don't fall. Under two minutes. Oh, push off with the right hand, spun back and shot it in. Got the 10 footer to drop, 55 51. And Cedarburg right. wanted a timeout. I'd like to see that one in replay if you could, carry, because you can really see Doden's arm go out and push uh, Wainer away, and then he got the shot up and in. Doden's has 12 on the night. We're at 149 to play. It's a 55 51 game. There you see a wide shot of the North crowd here. Behind us, Cedarburg flag, flag waver. Trying to fire up the crowd. It's been the highest scoring quarter of the night, Marty. I'll tell you, Cedarburg isn't going away. North, like you said, had them by 10, but uh, they came right back. Cut that margin in half quickly. And now it's Cedarburg applying the full court pressure. Schmitz to bring it in for the Raiders. Uh, and token just pressure. Showed, yeah. 145 left in this one. Raiders by four. Decker out front. And a block is going to be called on. Is that? I think that's Drifka. It is. That's Drifka. going to be his fifth. Drifka fouls out of the ball game with 10 points tonight. But I think where he brought more to the table for Cedarburg was defensively. He shut down Decker tonight. He did a very good job on Decker, and uh, I, mean, I guess I'm thinking back to that first quarter. He had three baskets. He did an excellent job of positioning himself, using his body to uh, outposition Chad Decker and get some easy shots inside. But uh, since that point, he's uh, been very quiet. Well, he, Aaron Albrecht will come back in for Cedarburg. You need a free throw or two from uh, Chad Decker. Needs to get this first one to uh, get the second. And he made it. Best looking free throw of the night. Of course, he's only made two. It's a sixth point. Can he make it seven? No. Well, David Lemon goes high for the rebound. 127 to play. Doden's into the front court. Paddock will drive and score. And that was pretty easy. Got right around the defense for that uh, two points. And uh, Justin Milkey checking in. Justin Milkey. Interesting substitution. Uh, Stu taking uh, David Lemon out of the ball. Looking game. for a little quickness, Marty. Well, they got Paddock and uh, Albrecht and Moore, three tall guys for the rebound. So I guess they don't need Lemon in there. Where's an outside, 109 to play. And they call it travel. I'll tell you, Derek Moore was on him very tight. Looked like he bumped him, bumped him just enough. Fall backwards. Well, Referee's saying that he changed pivot feet, but the reason he had a change was he got pushed. The ref was looking below the waist rather than above. And we're at one minute to play. One possession game, North with three point lead. Potek tried to get it to Albrecht. Knocked away by Decker. Lemon will come back in for Cedarburg at 55.4 seconds. Good help defense by Chad Decker to come over and assist uh, Brandon Miller. Touch log will come in for Miller. 56-53. North going 2-3 zone on this inbounds, at least to start off with. They tried to pass off the back. This is Moore, double teamed, got out of it. Doden's into the lane, tries the runner, off the rim hard, got his own rebound. Potek with a takedown, no call. Tetzlaw clears the board. And a foul. Doden picks up his, I, I only got it as his third. That's what I have it as well. 
but a strong rebound, and you're right, I didn't catch the the Hoddick just threw his guy down to the floor. I thought he was going to jump on him and go for the, uh, you know, yeah. three-point takedown or two-point, whatever you get Get a that. reversal. Wainer with some huge free throws right here. 39.7 seconds, and he rolls the first one in. Makes it a two-possession game. Brad Wainer's been a thorn in the side of Cedarburg uh, the last two sectional games, and he's doing it again tonight. He's got 19. 57-53. And 58, he notched them both. 20 for Wainer. Cedarburg's gonna have to hurry. Dodens doesn't look like he's in much of a hurry. 35 seconds to go. Potic likes the three. Now he'll go inside. Lemon, and a foul. No shot. No, no shot gone, and I believe he's fouled out. No. I'm, I'm, I'm having problems with my Ds tonight. <laughs> Oh, again, uh, for Brandon Dawn, that actually was a good foul. Prevents Lemon from getting an easy two and sends him to the line, and he's not a good free throw shooter. We've uh, analyzed that over the course of the game. And it'll be a bonus, Marty, because uh, the Raiders have yet to commit 10 team fouls. Well, as we speak, he pops one in. Lemon's first point of the second half. There you see. Who is that Stuart guy right Mike. there, Marty? <laughs> we both got gray hair now. What the heck happened? Seems just like yesterday we started and we had dark hair. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Three point north lead. There you see it, 30 seconds even. Schmitz, bounce pass. Turnover, and Wainer touched it. Well, he got open, but he got open in a very bad spot when you're down tight to the baseline near the corner. So with 27.7 seconds to go now, Cedarburg a chance to tie. Dodens will bring it in. Long pass out to Moore. Or scoots back into a man-to-man -man defense on the inbound throw. You don't want to give up oh, the three. A travel. Doden shot, no good. Aubrick, taken away by Decker. 15 seconds to go. Time out, oh, time, out time out. Time out, North. Oh. <laughs> Again, it, that's just like getting that ball in bounds on the baseline. He got it just across half court, Stu, and it's like having three defenders around you, and only one of them has a black jersey. It's a full timeout, but we're going to keep it right here. 11.8 seconds to go. 58-55, Sheboygan North leading Cedarburg. It's coming right down to the wire just like it did last year, Marty. You want to get it to Wainer because he's your money man. You know, they're going to have to fall awfully quick. You know, you can't uh, let the clock run down too much. He's hit clutch free throws here in the fourth quarter. Uh, he's the guy you want having the ball. And, uh, of course, Cedarburg knows that. They're going to try to uh, double him up. And uh, they probably would love to get uh, Chad Decker the ball and uh, follow him instead. The thing is, too, the backcourt's your friend here. You just take that pass to the backcourt. You've got eight seconds at least. And, you know, it's a 10-second rule, but you got seven or eight seconds to mess around with back there. And you may not get pressure back in the backcourt. Well, and even at if least you initially. do, you know, you're not going to get double-team kind of pressure. You can get around it and uh, get the ball across half court. I mean, that's, that's really the least of Norris worries. What they got to do is get it in. Exactly. <laughs> and you want to get it into your money man. They had trouble inbounding just uh, a moment ago. Schmitz will try to trigger it in. Oh, oh right. Uh-oh. Decker, and he's fouled. Melky with 10.6, so not that much time rolled off the clock. 1.2 seconds. Well, Stu, <laughs> dynamite collision. You know, looked a little bit like uh, Billy Schrader and Brian Erlacher <laughs> up there on the 40-yard line. Good no call or not? Yeah, you got to let him decide it on the floor. Incidental. Chad hit the first one. It takes a lot of pressure off. And he's short. Lemon will return for Cedarburg. David Lemon. Like to see a four-point lead here, Marty. Oh man, it'd be huge. 
No. Nope. Not going to happen. And Miller with a rebound. Wainer gets it out top, and he's fouled. Who almost had it stripped away, but the whistle came first. What a huge rebound by Brandon Miller, and the foul goes against Moore. And now 7.1 seconds remain. I've got uh, Brad Wainer making four out of five so far in the fourth quarter. That was a biggie right there. That makes it up to a two possession game. 21 for Wainer and he's showing down the stretch why he was player of the year in the Fox River Valley Conference. Yeah. Hits the second as well. Time out north. And it's a full timeout. We'll take a quick break. Seven seconds to go. The Raiders lead by five. Good job. Look, it's a giraffe. I don't see it. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. Americansforthearts.org. There you see Tom Desitel in the middle of a Sheboygan North huddle as the Raiders are trying to close out a sectional victory and advance to the finals tomorrow night against Fond du Lac. I think one of the big things you want to do, Stu, is have uh, Cedarburg catch the ball as they're coming to it and then force them to have to turn around and dribble it up the court. And you don't want to foul. And a steal, Decker. Wainer with the ball. He'll try to dribble it out. And he's doing a good job of it. Two seconds. And that's the horn. Sheboygan North advances with a hard-earned 60. The 55 victory over Cedarburg. We'll be back to total the final scores and hopefully get an interview right after this. Take a deep breath. It's all going to be fine. Certified Angus beef from Piggly Wiggly. They have like big juicy steaks. T-bone for to have. But steakhouses just take forever. So Dad cooks it up himself. Who needs reservation anyway? Restaurant quality certified Angus beef. Just one more reason to shop at Piggly Wiggly. My compliments to the chef. This is the story about a group of kids who volunteered. Do something nice for someone. We fix stuff. Did some art projects with the kids. We fixed up this house. We worked in the woods. Cleaned up the park. Did something for the planet. We just did it. No other reason. And you know what? It was great. At first, they didn't know each other. Well, that didn't last long. This guy is really funny. We, the A's, are my new friends. Are you into it? Call 4 H or check out our website at areyouintoit.com. Thank you. Before you know it, she talks. Before you know it, she walks. Before you know it, she knows you. Before you know it, she has a heart. Before you know you're pregnant, when your baby's no bigger than a grain of rice. Before she's a twinkle in your eye. That's when you need to take folic acid every day. After that, it's too late to prevent some serious birth defects. Folic acid now, before you know it. And we're back at Kauff Sports Center where tonight Sheboygan North held off Cedarburg to earn a hard-earned 60 to 55 victory in advance to the sectional finals tomorrow night against Fond du Lac. Mike Martin standing by with a couple of the North players. Marty? Joining me is Brad Wiener and Matt Horz. And Matt, we're going to start with you. You made some clutch three-point baskets tonight. Talk a little bit about uh, your shooting and how you got open for the shots. Well, 
I they weren't they weren't closing out so well on me. I mean, I didn't have really good looks, but they weren't closing out on me very well in the first half, and I got a couple quick shots off. And then the second half, they went into the one two two trapping zone. We got a little lead on them, and they went up to trap wins on top, and they didn't come out on me all the way, and I was able to get off a couple over in the corner that went down for me. You had a tough assignment on defense today tonight. Also, having to guard uh, Derek Moore. Yeah, he's he's tough, and I I didn't do them. I tried as hard as I could to, to keep in front of him, but he still was able to get to the baseline. And my teammates did a really nice job of helping out on me, and that helped out me a lot too. I thought there were a number of times when the help defense really paid big dividends, and I thought that helped a lot with you having to go do it. He went to the middle a lot, and he was never really wide open for shots. I mean, they got some some athletic guys who can get to the hoop, and we matched up against them a little different than we did uh, than we did when we played them in December, and. Uh, I mean, we had some guys step up. We played good help side. We knew there were a lot of things we had to do differently. And I mean, you know, that's what defense is what wins games. And, and we stepped it up defensively and, and we got this one. I thought that throughout the course of the game, Chad Dodens was not able to contain you or any of their players for that matter as far as getting penetration, getting it in the middle. I mean, we knew that that offense was just going to take care of itself if, if we did things defensively if, and if we hustled and, and that kind of thing. I mean, I mean, there's sometimes the offense is what you can't control and, and we got to make sure that that our game's going to be there even when we're missing shots. So, I mean, offense is just kind of, it's got to feed off our defense, and it did tonight. Now you guys really struggled with your free throw shooting. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't get any attempts, but, uh, man, it was uh, really a struggle, but you hit them down towards the end. You just got to calm down. I mean, you got you to gotta be confident on what's got you here. I mean, we, we do a lot of that practicing in, in, uh, in the gym after school, and you just got to calm down and shoot them. Now, you got Fond du Lac tomorrow night, Matt. Uh, they're going to be a tough a cookie to handle and uh, this is going to be a third year in a row you guys have played them in sectional play. Yeah well I've been up I've went up to watch them play Appleton West and I saw them play Cedarburg the first game of the year and they're, they're going to make you work we are going to have to work all game long there's going to be able to be no let ups at all on defense or on the offensive end because they work so hard we're going to have to we're going to earn everything we get tomorrow night. Talk a little bit about Fond du Lac and what this means to you. We, we got business to do we, we were here we were here last year and we kind of made a mistake of, uh, of looking past that second game after we got the first. We got a little excited and, uh, you know, we, we want this one tomorrow for the seniors from last year especially. Eric Worth is, is one of our assistants, or one of the guys who helps out. And I mean, he talked to us before and he said, get this one for us. And I mean, that's what we got to do. We got business to take care of. And as soon as we get back down to that locker room, it's time to start thinking about that one. Thanks a lot for joining me, guys. Great game tonight. Another excellent performance by you guys. We'll see you tomorrow night. We're going to send it back to Stu for a wrap up. All right, Marty, thanks a lot. And uh, again, the final score, 60 to 55 tonight for Cedarburg, who finishes the year 17 and six. Uh, they were led by Aaron Albrecht, who scored 14 off the bench. Chad Dodens had 12 and Mike Drifka 10. But maybe one of the biggest stats tonight was their leading scorer, Joe Potick, scored just four points tonight. He came into the game averaging 14, or 16 per game. For Sheboygan North, they now stretched their record to 20 wins against two losses. Uh, the Raiders were led by Brad Wainer, who had 22 points. Matt Horzen added 15 on five three-point shots. Adam Schmitz had eight. Chad Decker, six. Brandon Miller scored six. Kyle Tetchlog scored two. And Brandon Dawn added a free throw. So tomorrow night, it'll be Mike Martin and Chris Wright trying to bring home uh, a Raider victory as uh, North makes an attempt to go to state for the sixth time in Tom Desitel's coaching career. And uh, we'll have uh, that game. Uh, t we'll be here tomorrow night and play that game on tape um, later in the week. But for uh, our crew, Kerry in the truck, great job on the replays. Brian and Tim. Brian uh, doing a stellar job down on the floor battling North, those North fans. Um, and for Mike Martin, I'm Stu Hoffensberger saying thanks for joining us and so long.